Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here with another episode of Bon Appetit! Oh babies, come on, let's eat! And today we're going to be making one of my favourite is, and you know I, I always have all these favourite dishes, but I'm going to be making one of my favourite dishes which is pineapple fried rice and it's shrimp pineapple fried rice because as you know guys I don't actually eat meat I'm a pescetarian which means that I eat anything from the sea I don't eat meat because I actually don't like it it's not for any sort of altruistic you know reasons you know like don't kill the cows etc it's literally because I don't like meat um, right so that being said we are going to be making my favorite one of my favorites um, pineapple fried rice that being said, if you don't eat meat, you can use seafood. If you don't eat meat and seafood, you can use tofu. If you don't eat tofu, you can use mushrooms. If you don't eat mushrooms, you can just leave it out. As I will show you in a, in a little bit, the two main ingredients that make this dish the dish are something that's required. So outside of that, guys, let's get ready, and I hope you enjoy this. And might I just say this, this is gonna be, this is part of my wok series. I had promised Last year, I had promised a, a group of women last year that I was going to do a series using using my wok, you know. And for those of you who know me and know me personally, I am wok crazy. I love my wok. I'm like, you don't have a wok? Oh my God. And so people know what they get getting for their birthday, for Christmas. If you don't have a wok, guess what? Haha, <laughs> a wok's coming your way. So anyway, guys, let's get started. I'm going to show you what's on my cutting board and then we're going to get right to it and it's on so our good. cutting board we have two eggs you can use one or two eggs the choice is yours and of course this, this is pineapple fried rice we have pineapple this is about a half a cup here you can use more if desired or less but do remember that um, the pineapple can make your rice a little wet so bear that in mind so we have about half a cup of pineapple here I actually have three quarters of a cup of mixed mixed vegetables. It's got edamame, peas, corn, and carrots. Um, you actually need half a cup of that. Half a cup. I just like more. I'm using shrimp. You can use any meat you want. Just make sure if you're using chicken, beef, or pork that it's sliced very, very thinly so it cooks well, so it's sli you slice it really, really thinly and that you would need maybe about three or four ounces. You can mix um, uh, meat and shrimp or meat and lobster. Um, so some total, no more than about eight ounces of meat in this. That's actually quite a lot of rice. Uh, sorry, that's quite a lot of meat. So here I have maybe about five, five and a half ounces of shrimp and what I have done is I've chopped some of them up and I'm leaving some of them whole for garnish. So that's shrimp. I've got about two and a half cups of rice. It may look more than that because it's all sort of, I broke it up to make sure that it was dried and because what you don't want is rice that's freshly cooked and this was, so what I did was I spread it out on a tray so it would dry it out because you don't want wet rice because the dish will be very, very sticky and wet and you don't really want that. Okay, so that's that. Okay, I have um, onions. And these are serrano, serrano peppers sliced, red bell peppers diced, I have cilantro here, and spring onions um, sliced, diced, okay? Also, I have garlic, but I'm going to show you that over here. For the spices, now this, this, this is curry powder, and the curry powder is very, very crucial to this dish, very, very crucial to the the dish actually these two things are really crucial to the dish they kind of make the dish so I have a teaspoon and a half of curry powder you can use less or you can use more I have a teaspoon of garlic I have just about just under half a teaspoon half a cup of cashew nuts I have golden raisins you can use golden raisins or um, raisins regular raisins I happen to have golden raisins or you can leave it out but I like to have that in there I've got some salt and pepper that's white pepper and a little bit of salt 
I have here um, two teaspoons of coconut palm sugar palm sugar um, you can use if you don't have this you can use one teaspoon of, of sugar but I prefer this it's not very sweet but it does impart a flavor it is sweet but not sweet as sugar but it imparts flavor and I also have here some um, mushroom soy sauce two teaspoons of mushroom soy sauce and two teaspoons of um, fish sauce now if you don't have fish sauce don't like fish sauce you can leave that out and just make it regular regular soy sauce and two teaspoons of regular soy, soy sauce or two and two teaspoons of mushroom soy sauce with this dish this dish is really forgiving you can do lots with it if you don't eat seafood you leave it out if you don't eat meat you can use like shiitake mushrooms or you can I would use something like shirelles or something something really interesting you can use tofu or you can absolutely you leave all of that out no eggs no nothing so you can do whatever you want to do with this dish again the key ingredients that make this dish the dish are the curry powder and the pineapple okay guys let us get started one of the things that I really want to share with you guys is that when you're cooking with a wok it doesn't always have to be hot but in this instance it does so I'm gonna uh, put in maybe about quarter quarter cup of oil and the first thing that I'm going to do is did I mention cashew nuts yes I did first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just brown the cashew nuts all right guys I'm just gonna brown my cashew nuts okay because they're not roasted so they're fresh so I'm just gonna brown them off just a little bit and then we'll put them back towards the end we'll put them back in with the pineapple and everything but that's it as you can see we just brown them you don't want them to burn so you just brown them take them off they do this smell all nutty they've got a nutty smell nutty all right so um, because again these were fresh they weren't roasted okay so that's it so that's those and we just put those to the side okay my darlings the next thing I am actually going to put into my wok is my garlic all right and we get that going and it's all nice and fragrant and it's gonna brown which is all right then I'm going to add my shrimp and it's okay that the um up. yeah there you go it's okay that the garlic browns that's okay you know lots of recipes they like oh it's the garlic it's too, too brown boom but that's not so so let that do its thing so we'll give it just a a hit more heat or a hit more heat as the shrimp turns pink you know that they're starting to cook all right guys let them do their thing and i'm going to give it just a hit more heat actually that smells nice okay now some people put their some people put their rice their their onions in um, towards the end of the dish I kind of like my onions cooked not to oblivion but I kind of like my onions cooked uh, I prefer them that way so I'm just going to put the onions in and there are many methods to doing this you know people will say ah it's not authentic it's not authentic alright so give that a nice turn Alright, because the shrimp are cooking nicely. You don't want them to be too too cooked to oblivion. Because then they become quite um quite tough. And then what I'm gonna do is 
simple, almost cooked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a couple of these for garnish. Take out a couple of these for garnish. For the garnish. Right, and then I'm going to do the, the eggs. We're going to cook the eggs. So what we're going to do is we're going to push the shrimp and the onions and the garlic per se to the side. We're going to break the egg. We're going to break the egg. And sort of like we're going to just scramble it up just a little bit. Hopefully you guys you're getting all of that. We're going to scramble it up just a little bit. And then we're going to sit it and let it set. We're going to let it sit. And do its thing. Do its thing. Alright. And I'm going to turn this over just a little bit. Scramble him up. Get him scrambled. Which is cool. Alright, there you go. My shrimp, my eggs, my onions. Right, I'm going to add a tad, just a tad more oil, guys. I think I need just a tad more oil. There you go. And I'm now going to add my rice. There you go. I'm going to add my rice. Yeah, that's better. See, this actually isn't a non-stick wok. There you go. That's my rice. I'm going to mash you down. Right. That's the rice. Get the rice really incorporated so that all the grains, um, that all the grains separate so it's all nicely separated, which it will be by the time we're done. And guys, I'm going to leave this real time so, well, at least I think I am, that you can see how long it really takes. It really doesn't take long. Once you've had, once you have everything together, everything cut, it really doesn't take long at all. Okay, going. And this is what I mean when I say that your rice, it really, you don't want your rice to be too terribly sticky because then, you know, it just becomes a mushy mess. It really does. It becomes very gummy. And make sure you have enough oil in your pan to do what you need to do. If your pan's non-stick, yeah, it works well. All right. All right, guys. That okay. All right. Okay. So we're now going to add the vegetables. I'm going to add the mixed vegetables. Give that a quick toss. See. Shaping up pretty, it's looking pretty, it's looking pretty, and guys, it's also important to really kind of keep it moving. Okay, okay, I'm gonna add the peppers, most of them. I'm gonna use the, the um, serranos, the cut green serranos, and the red peppers. Yeah, baby. Alright, and now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. And it's a wrap. See how easy this is? Oh. Okay, so that's my curry powder. That's the essential ingredient. That's the um, sugar, the palm sugar. That's the raisins.
That's the white pepper and salt. That's the oyster sauce or the mushroom sauce and fish sauce. Give it a quick turn here. So you now you really want to make sure that it's mixed in very, very, very well. So everything's incorporated really, really well. It smells delicious. Okay, I'm excuse me. Oh, that's the pepper. I'm gonna add the pineapple and the cashew nuts. And guys, we're just gonna mix this. Continue mixing this down until the pineapple's really heated through. The, um, a few of the spring onions in. Oh. I'm going to put a few of the spring onions in and then a few of the garnish. Peppers for garnish, cilantro forgot actually. I'm going to turn it off. Guys, that's it. That's the wrap. That's how quick it is. That's how quick and easy it is. And we are done. So I'm just going to plate it up, have a bite, and you can see. And I did that in real time because I wanted you to see it. See how easy it is. Pineapple, fried rice. That's it, guys. I'm going to plate it up. Here we have it, guys. Our pineapple fried rice. Doesn't this look yummy? This is enough for... <coughs> excuse me, for three people, way generous for two. It can actually serve four people if you're serving something else, but makes a nice, nice, nice meal. So let's have a taste. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Actually guys, this is really, really good. It's flavorful. Tasty. The pineapple creates this sort of tart, sweet burst in your mouth. Now you can use canned pineapple. Fresh is always preferable. I go fresh, frozen, bottle, can. And you just cut it into chunks as you saw. Um, if you don't like cashew nuts, you can use peanuts. If you don't like peanuts, leave them out. Uh, you know, guys, this, this dish is forgiving. As I said to you, the main ingredients in this dish are the pineapple and the curry. I'm going to go get a real plate. Guys, I should talk with your mouthful. Um, I am. I'm going to go get a real plate. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Any questions? Hit me up if you like this and any of the other videos I do. Hey guys, subscribe. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Bon appetit, guys. Let's eat. And the next video I'm bringing to you is how to make gluten-free bread in a bread machine. And we're going to go on that journey together. So peace. Enjoy. Bon appetit.